Okay, so we're going to make a chart using Google Docs and Google Spreadsheet. The first thing we're going to have to do is make our chart, and we're going to go ahead and do it um, in a in spreadsheet form. So, a new spreadsheet. So let's just do an example one. I'm going to start with the year. some sample data here. Okay. And I'll put in sales. I notice when I did this I didn't put any commas or dollar signs, so I'll just come back later here and I'll highlight the numbers and I can format and find currency. I'll skip the one with decimals. There we go. That makes it look all nice. Okay. So the next thing we do is we're going to highlight this information. Nothing more. And click on insert chart. And we got to kind of tell it what to do a little bit. It's charting a couple things here. It's charting our sales in red and our year in blue. I don't really want the year to be charted so where it says use column A as a label I'll go ahead and click that and there we go. It starts to look exactly all we want. It puts the years here on the bottom axis. And I'm going to go to customize here and I'm going to give it a title something like sales forecast and I can here. I can bold it, make it bigger, put it in a different color, make it stand out a little bit. Uh, the legend, it's only one thing, so I really want to get rid of that. So instead of having it on the right, I'm going to click None. And that's gone. And there we go. And I guess if I really wanted to, I could change the color from blue. That's money, so let's go green, huh? So there we go. So I'll go ahead and click insert. And there's our sales forecast. And if I click in here and I go to the top, cursor moves to hand, I can kind of move whatever I want. I can go to the corner and you know resize it, something that makes more sense. I'll click out of it and there we go. Move it up a little higher. Okay. And there's our first chart. Let's go ahead and make a second one. Uh, for this one, let's go company, uh, market share, maybe we say, is it PepsiCo, Coca-Cola, uh, Cadbury Schweppes, is it two P's or one? I don't know. And maybe other. Okay, and let's see here. If we're going to do this as a percent, if I just go ahead and put in point, say 40, point 40, which would be 40% here eventually, Cadbury Schweppes, I don't know, call it point 0.2 and other 0 0.08, making these things up. Uh, now, if I highlight these numbers here and I go to format number and I just pick on percent, it'll nicely change it to percent for me. So on this one, if we highlight all of our information and we click on insert chart, you notice that Google kind of says, hey, this looks like it should be a pie chart. I would agree with that. And again, I don't necessarily want to mess with the chart stuff. I could change it to a 3D, I guess, if I wanted to. Uh, don't it. I'll go 3D. Uh, if I go to customize, again, I can put in a... Title for it. There we go. And... Make it bigger. Something like that. 
Right. Like I said, if you really want to get interested, you can kind of mess with all these stuff. And just click insert. And again, move it over. Go to the corner. Resize it. And you like it. Click it. There we go. Alright, now the object here was to get these into a dock. Now in order to do that, we've, we've made them. So what we're going to do is we're going to save these as an image. And if I just click save, I don't know where it goes. So I'm just going to open them up. And here it pulls up. It goes up in Photo Viewer for me. And then I'm just going to make a copy. And then I'm going to save it. I'll save it to my pictures. There we go chart. Uh, let's see, what was this for? Yeah, chart for sales forecast. And I'll save that in my pictures. I'll do the same thing for the beverage market share. And I'll open it up. Copy. And so I've got my images saved. Okay, so now we got uh, both of our images saved. I'm going to close these images. I'm going to go back to our document. This is where we want to put them. So, for example, now I can just go insert image, find the images that I let's see here. I put it in pictures. There we go. And hmm. only one at a time apparently. So I'll put our forecast one in. There it is. Go down, insert the other one. There it is. Okay. Now next we're going to make sure that we can wrap text around these. So it's going to go to Google. And I'm going to find some text. So for example, find the Declaration of Independence text. There we go. Click on here. I'll just copy the first couple paragraphs here. Control C. And then I'm going to go back into here and I'm going to go up top here and go Control V. Now it pushes it down to the bottom, which makes sense. Um, right now, this is inline which text, which treats it as a giant character. But if I put it in a fixed position like this, I can now move it up. And when I do it, the text is going to wrap around it. Now sometimes you'll get something that looks funky like that, and that's kind of Google making a mistake, and I'll just keep moving. Moving on up. I don't know, that's as far as it wants to go, huh? Sometimes it acts up. I just hit refresh. And apparently... There we go. Eh, I'll let him over here on the right. Okay, there we go, that looks nice. And then I'll do the same with the other one, put it in a fixed position, and bring it on up, maybe to the second paragraph. And see, it's kind of acting up here a little bit. Let's hit refresh. And there you go. Right, maybe move it down a little bit. There. So there you go, that's how you make a chart, and that's how you save it, and then put it into text and wrap the text around it.